All right, folks, uh, we're going to do an update on Don Stewart, and out of respect for him, I'm not going to do another video today other than the live video that I did earlier, and that is because I want this video to get out to as many people as possible, and I don't want to be messing up with the YouTube al algorithms or anything like that. So here's the update on Don Stewart. First of all, I want you to know he's doing as well as well could be. I have been communicating with Don every single day via text, and it's been great. Um, he is in very good spirits. However, uh, let me just tell you what is going on. First of all, the heart attack that he had was not a minor heart attack. I said it was when I reported it in the video because that's what we thought. It actually was a very major heart attack. Now, um, they did an emergency procedure on him that involved stenting him and um, in doing so that temporarily solved one of the issues that created sort of the initial spark of what took place in his heart. But then they realized after taking a good look at things that he needs major open heart surgery. Now, the problem is he's not going to be able to do it for at least another four weeks. And um, this is kind of an interesting thing that Madeline Stewart, which she's been communicating with me on a regular basis, she says he's got to recover. The doctor says it was more than a minor heart attack. He needs to recover from it before undergoing bypass surgery. So he's going to need roughly four weeks to recover from the first major procedure that went on before he can do that. So she's asking uh, that we pray that Don continue to remain under observation for as long as necessary. And we want to pray, you guys, that Don gets referred to the most skilled surgeon to perform his surgery and for all of the safety necessary leading up to it, right? Because there's a four uh, week window that he has to stay healthy and we need to pray for that to take place. And we really want the best surgeon that we can get our hands on to be able to operate on him. So in the meantime, uh, Don has promised that he'll be writing books like crazy while he's settling in, which good for him. Um, I do want to ask a couple of favors. First of all, I would like to ask that you go to educatingourworld.com. That's where you can support Don. There's a place where you can give if you'd like to support him, because as you know, an overwhelming majority of the support that he receives comes from speaking engagements and the selling of his books. He's going to kill me for telling you this, but he is giving us, Calvary Chapel Signal Hill, his books that we might be able to do with them uh, whatever we can to further the kingdom. That's his thing. That's the way Don Stewart thinks. So, I hope that there's a large outpouring of support for him. He makes all of his books for free available on educatingourworld.com. And, um, and I think that that's a great opportunity to be able to support him. And then I think we should just pray for him right now and pray for his amazing wife. I got to tell you, Madeline is, um, uh, uh, this woman is sharp as could be, and she's a great advocate for Dawn. Uh, so let's pray for wisdom for her as well. Father in heaven, we just thank you so much for Dawn. We pray, God, that you'd continue to heal him, Lord, in this four-week window. We pray, Lord, that he would be safe, that he would grow in strength. We pray, God, that as they prepare for this open heart surgery procedure, that you would bring in the best surgeon for Dawn to get this done safely and well. We pray, Lord, that the recovery time would just be miraculous. We pray that you would protect him from head to toe in every area. We pray that you would provide through insurance and all the support, Lord, that comes in. We just pray that that would increase. And Father, we thank you for Madeline. We just pray that you would give her strength and wisdom in dealing with all of this. We pray, Lord, for Gabby and Kelsey, that you would also just give them strength and courage, Lord, as uh, I know they're very worried about their father. And Lord, we just pray for your perfect peace in all of this. So Lord, we love you. We thank you. And we ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And one of the things I want to tell you guys is Don told me, matter of fact, one of the last texts he sent me was he is completely at peace and he's doing well. So that's great news. Anyway, we love you guys. Uh, God bless you. Just remember to continue praying for Don as we know that there's a lot happening and we'll give you some more updates. I think I'll be able to give you another update on Monday to kind of let you guys know what's going on. Okay. God bless you guys. And remember, educatingourworld.com. It's a great place where you can go and you can support Don through this time. God bless you.